Hi, today we talk about what's new in Android 11 for developers. As Android 11 introduces so many new features, so today we talk about all those features. Android 11 is now available for development, testing, so you can try it on your Pixel 2, 3, 3a or 4 devices. So first we talk about UI. This is the first thing users see. So in UI, we first talk about window insets. Window insets is a set of inset for window content. As Android 11, most of the methods are deprecated and instead added several window insets APIs. These additions allow developer to animate views based on the IMEs means of keyword expansion, control the IME expansion, or just simply query the visibility of IME and other inset types. While the Windows Insight APIs expose many great new features, today we will discuss on IME visibility queries, which is one of the most requested feature was ability to query the visibility and position of the Android keyword on the screen. Previously, when implementing as to as navigation, on the first step to take was to use system UI visibility flag in order to request the app to be let lit out full screen. Now, uh, previously we used system UI flag layout stable, system UI flag layout hide navigation uh, to implement as to as navigation. So now these methods are deprecated. Instead of these methods, a set decorate for system window uh, is introduced, which is new method. Does everything we need it and is much easier to remember. And in this method, we have to pass single control whether or not our layout is will fit inside the system window. To layout the app full screen, we use set decorator fit system windows and passing false as argument. If you pass true, it will continue to work as a previous release, checking the value of now the deprecated system UI visibility. Now, IME animation, which is a most interesting feature, ability to query the visibility and position of Android keyword on its screen. So Android 11 introduced window inset type, this class which make, makes it really easy to exit inset that was previously accessed through multiple methods. And API added a new function uh, is visible which returns a boolean representing whether the inset provider is visible or not. And a new window inset controller class was also added to the API and provides developers the ability to manually control window insets by their type and also provide the ability for developer to manually control the animation of a specified insets. Finally, the window inset API includes a new window inset animation dot callback class, which provide developers the ability to listen the animation of a specified inset as they are being shown or hidden. Developers can set their animation callback on any view class via this method. Here you can see in this image how you can synchronize the app content with IME. So Android 11 introduced useful and highly requested API like the ability to request the visibility and the position of the keyword, showing it and hiding it uh, easily. And you can deal with uh, the keyword smoothly. So next is conversation and bubble, which is also a very interesting feature in Android 11. So let's start. First, we start with conversation. As number of new features are introduced in Android 11 to support the people and conversation intentives, will be a separate section on the top of the notification sheet containing all the real-time conversation with people such as chat messages, including group conversation and calls. Conversation, uh, it put all the conversation in one place. They are far less likely to get lost among your other notification. Here you can see in this picture, the conversation there is three sections, one is for conversation, another one for alerting notification and silent notifications. 
So conversation section will appear above of the all other notification. For this feature, conversation shortcuts are the key ingredients. Conversate, what is conversation shortcuts? It's a combination of metadata and property it used across conversation related features. In order to pro participate in this new conversation centric initiatives, app need to provide the system with long lived shortcuts and have person data attached to it. Let's talk about building conversation shortcuts. First, we have to attach person data using Android person class. There is a person class which we use to attach the person data and uh, this person data for one or more person identifying the other participants in the conversation. Then we set the shortcut as long lived. For that we use shortcut in shortcut info.builder which is used to set the shortcut as long lived. Um, shortcut info builder dot builder includes new and enhanced method that provide additional information about the share target. After attach your person data and short set shortcut as long lived, we use shortcut manager methods such as set dynamic shortcuts, add dynamic shortcut or post dynamic shortcut methods to publish our conversation shortcuts. Push dynamic shortcut which automatically manage the shortcut limit for developers. So OS uh, limits apps to publish only 10 shortcuts. However, they introduce push dynamic method that automatically handing handle logic related to this limit. Conversation notification make it easier to see sender name and messages. As you can see in this picture, the sender name and the message. This notification also have enhanced feature like user can select the message as bubble and pop out conversation so that it can fastly access app without switching other apps. So to create conversation notification, we set our conversations uh, shortcut to our to our messaging style, and then what we have to do is to set set the shortcut ID from the short conversation short shortcut that we defined previously, and then publish the notification, and it will appear in the conversation section. So here to set the shortcut ID, we use method set shortcut ID. The next is bubble. When user long press on a conversation notification, they will have the, their choices of a few new options. The user can transfer conversation to a notification bubble, which is uh, another Android 11 new feature. If you choose the option show as bubble, the conversation will be broken out into a new completely bubble interface that lets you access the full app experience in a floating window. Like uh, you see in the Facebook Messenger. Okay, to create the bubble, you can create via the notification API. And in the manifest file, you have to set resizable activity equals to true. So allow all the bubble bubbles from your app. All notifications sent with bubble metadata will appear as bubbles. So to send a bubble, follow these steps. Create a notification as you normally would. And then call notification bubble metadata dot builder to create met bubble metadata object, uh, which is used to send the metadata. If you want, want it to bubble, you need to attach some extra data to it. And you set bubble metadata to add the metadata to the notification. Now to create an expanded bubble, you can configure your bubble bubbles to present it in expanded state automatically. You can configure, we recommend only using this functionality if user perform an action that would result in a bubble, like tapping on a button 
to start a new chat. In this case, in case it also makes sense to suppress initial notification sent when bubble is created. These are the method you can use to set the flag that enable this behavior. Set auto expandable bubble and set suppress notification. So next feature is privacy update. Android 11 introduced many features to improve the privacy. First is data access auditing. To provide more transparency into how your app and its dependency access private data from your user, Android 11 introduced data access auditing. So by having insight from process, you can better identify and uh, and you can rectify potentially unexpected data access. So, uh, so if user is requested for some extra permission for some features, and you think it don't need to be here, maybe they use some external libraries to for the extra permissions. So for that, Android 11 introduced some APIs to track this. So here you can. Uh, register the instance of app op manager dot uh, uh, on op noted callback. This callback give you the information you need. You have to register callback and then provide information when this user requested, and then you can track the code where this happening in the code. It means uh, you can track your code where they requested for the extra information. So next is one time permission. Uh, which is uh, also an interesting feature in Android 11, uh, which uh, this provide you ability to specify the more permission for location, microphone, and camera. As in Android 10, we had a concept of permission could be granted in either application in foreground or background. But in Android 11, introduce one-time permission. In this user gives permission to the app when application on foreground. But when the application in the background, there is no need to give the permission. So basically, when application is being used in the current safe, current session, then permission is fine. But then the permission after that, the permission is denied and need to be requested next time. So here you can see in this picture. Whenever you have request access to the foreground location, the system permission dialog includes the option called only this time. Using this, you can allow your Android uh, apps to access your information when your application in foreground. Now, so now foreground and background permission are separated. First, you have to ask for the foreground permission. Then, if needed, ask for the background permission. So in Android 10, then P, uh, if you need location permission in foreground, you have to define it, it into the manifest file. Now, the, in Android 11, they extend the capability, include camera and microphone as well. Now in privacy updates, there are other changes. Package visibility in Android 11 changes how apps can query and interact with other apps that the user has installed on a device. So here we use query element, which app can set of the other app that they can access. So if you target Android 11, you might need to add the query element in your manifest file. Within query element, you can specify app by your package name or by your intent signature. Now there are scope, other changes are scope to storage, auto reset permission. If the user is in auto reset permission, if the user install an application, run it once, grant some permission, and then doesn't run for a years or a couple of years, why does it to have same permission? So for that, here you can use auto reset permission to request those permissions again. Android 11 provides some additional features like app exit reason update. As we know that app can exit for a variety of reasons from cache to system kill or user action across the many device type memory configuration and user scenario that your app run it. And it's important to understand 
why the app exists and what the state was at that time so android 11 make it easier why with this api uh, with the exit reason api that you can request the detail of the app recent exit so here we use activity manager dot get historical process exit reason method which reports the reason why app exit and it's use get reason method that provides the reason why the app exit you can use a new set process state summary method to store custom state information for the later analysis the next is adb incremental so this one uh, is used for those who installing very large apk with adb especially for the android gamer games so when uh, when you installing very large apk with adb during the development it can be slow and impact your productivity installing large apk 2 gb plus for your development computer to an android 11 device is up to 10x faster so to use this new developer tool for sign your apk with apk signature screen before forming and then install your apk with updated adb command line tool remember one thing adb incremental only works with pixel 4 for excel device due to required file system changes at device level so that's all that we could find yet and thank you thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section thank you